In this video, we are going to show you just one of the many ways to design and texture your custom Gothic cross. The Gothic cross from Kensiron.com comes in two pieces and is made from 7 gauge mild steel. To begin, heat up the larger of your two cross pieces. After the larger piece of your cross is hot, we will start by texturing the edges on the front side of the cross. While you are doing this, you should try to keep the face of the cross as flat as possible so the front cross piece will sit flush on top of it. Repeat this process for each arm of the cross. When you're doing the texturing, make sure you keep an even amount of texture on all of the edges. Now that you've textured the edges on the front side of your larger cross piece, it's time to do the same for the smaller piece. Just like the larger piece, you're going to texture the edges of the smaller cross, but this time you can also add texture to the face of the cross. Once again, you will repeat this process for each arm of the cross. At this point, your cross pieces should look something like this. Before we move on, you'll want to make sure that they sit flat. Next, we suggest taking a square and drawing two perpendicular lines so you can make sure your cross is still straight. Now it's time to get the holes drilled so you can mount the two pieces together. Here we demonstrate drawing lines on the larger piece to ensure the holes are drilled in the middle of each part of the arm. Once you're sure you've got everything lined up, drill the holes in the large piece of your cross. These holes can be used to either rivet the pieces together or plug weld them together. Here we've chosen to plug weld them. That's it! Good job! You've finished your customized Gothic cross. You can mount a hook to the back to proudly display it on your wall, or you can just leave it as is. If you're interested, keep watching for a variation that you can add to your next cross. To start this variation, you're going to need to heat up your cross and grab a sharp chisel like this one. Clamp the hot cross in your vise and use a chisel to split the end of your cross. Once you've done this, take a straight fuller tool like this one and use it as well as a hammer to separate the pieces and curl them as desired. Do this for each arm of the cross and you've got another fun way to put a personal touch on your custom gothic cross. The possibilities are endless for the ways that you can style your gothic cross. Use your imagination, but most importantly, have fun.